Welcome to the second part of this 4 video series covering 40 animations using Lumion. In this video we will be utilizing the sky drop effect, showing how simple it is to create sequential 40 animations using this effect in Lumion. Now for the next 3 videos we will need to follow a couple steps in our modeling software to be ready to go in Lumion. In this case, I'm using the same Revit model from before, and basically what we will need to do next is extract each piece we need from the model individually. Now this video isn't meant to be strictly a Revit tutorial, as I want to emphasize that this can be done in any software imported into Lumion. But among the many ways to isolate pieces we need in Revit, I like to use the filter, like we saw a second ago, and isolate only the pieces we need, then export and label each piece. Now I like to make this easier by saving the model and then deleting each piece I export to keep track of everything. Now in Lumion, let's start with a full complete model on its own layer to keep as a reference. And here's a list of all the pieces I extracted from the model that we need to bring in individually. For these next three videos, we need to think of this as Legos we break apart in our modeling software and then put back together in Lumion. We do this so we can have control over each individual parts so we can animate them. After we have our first couple pieces imported, we can then start aligning them to the complete model. After we have them aligned, we're just we're good to go ahead and just hide that complete model for now. Now, how we organize these pieces in Lumion will vary in each of these methods of the next couple tutorials. But for SkyDrop right now, we just want to go ahead and import all of these pieces just right in. So now I'm just going to go ahead and speed through this entire process really quick until I have all these parts imported and aligned and ready to go. Remember that to use the align tool, we just need to highlight all of our objects, including the one object we want to align to. And then we're going to go ahead and find the uh, context menu, or it looks like a wrench. After we click on that, we need to click on the one object we want everything to align to. And then we find transformation, and then hit align. And it's as simple as that. And this tool is extremely effective and useful in projects like this to have multiple objects that we want to share the same uh, imported coordinates. And now what you're seeing now is another step I took to alter the terrain so we could put the footings in the ground and the foundations. The, and this will all be covered by the uh, 3D site model that we got from Revit in this case. And so it works out really well being able to kind of show the excavation and where the footings are going to go and then finish grade and everything. So here we brought in that site I was talking about. We're just going to go ahead and get it in place, aligned, and then we're just going to paint it as the rest, the same as the rest of the terrain around in Lumion, so it blends in as if it's not another random piece that we just brought in from Revit. Okay, now with every piece in place and aligned, in movie mode, let's just go ahead and grab the sky drop effect. It's found near the move effect. Now let's just select the pieces we want just like this in one big box, and we'll see the result of, of this. As you can see, when they come down, everything is randomized, which might be really effective in, in some uses, but right now we want this in order. To control the order we want, we need to select each piece. Here is the order we're going to use, and after we select them all, SkyDrop will animate them sequentially. Now that our selection is dialed in, we have some sliders to manipulate the animation. First, we want to make sure our animation starts and ends where we want within our clip using these sliders. And there are a couple options we have manipulating these, but it's all up to your preference. The great advantage of the sky drop is that it will calculate the spacing exactly and evenly. All of the other effects to do this, we actually have to do it manually. So you can see why sky drop is so powerful here. And with that, we finish part two of our 4D animation tutorial series. In the next tutorial, we will be looking at utilizing layers to produce a similar result. My goal is that these tutorials can empower your architecture or construction communication to your audience. Thanks for watching.